The most striking thing about an adult male is his spectacular schnozzle. Nothing to do with nutrition, but a lot to do with sex. For female proboscis, prefer nasally well-endowed males. We have no idea why. The other obvious feature is the huge belly. Proboscis have two stomachs to help them break down the unpalatable fibrous leaves. This is a world that moves to the rhythm of the moon. Salt water infiltrates kilometers inland to the traditional sleeping trees of proboscis monkeys. These monkeys of the moon must wait for the tide to fall before they can reach their favorite food. So they're in no hurry. The moon recedes and slowly draws the waters from the mangroves. Fish are forced to leave, for within hours, water will be replaced by air. The water is leaving them and the proboscis follow the tide. High above the mud, the monkeys of the moon keep pace with the falling tide. They're after something tasty to eat, but it'll be hours before they reach their goal. The retreating tide has uncovered the beach. The monkeys can walk the final meters to their goal. A tree that grows along the beach. And this is what they've traveled kilometers for. The flowers of the sea hibiscus. After the dry leaves of the mangroves, the monkeys relish the sweet-tasting flowers. While the adults are tapping in, the youngsters take the opportunity to play. far away, close to the horizon. The tide slithers back towards the mangroves. The monkeys of the moon are forced to leave their sweet-tasting flowers. As soon as they are safely back in the trees, the youngsters start rumpusing again. 